Hi, welcome to another episode of Stitch Chat. I'm here in St. Charles, Missouri at the TNNA show and I have the pleasure of meeting with Sandy Van Ozel from the Sweetheart Tree. And we're going to show you some of her new pieces. She's going to give us a little bit of background on the company and just have a little fun. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Gloria. Nice to have you here. Nice. Th thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So, Sandy, tell us a little bit about your company and your background. I'm actually a speech and hearing therapist. Uh, but 25 years ago I started designing things for our own home and when I went into our local shop they asked me if they could start selling the designs and it was a whole new career opening up for me. Wow that's great. So what's really popular right now? Right now stitchers I think because of having a lack of time like to work on small projects and one of the things that they're working on now are a series of smalls. Smalls would be little projects like a scissor fob that you'd put on your scissors and the big rage right now are biscornus. Biscornu is a French word and it means with a quirky shape um, and right now what they're doing is they're making these cute little quirky pin cushions. Yes they're very very nice. Um, I noticed that and you, you use uh, your specialty is with, always they'll have a charm or a bead or so how did that come about? Well I, I think um, people like a little bit more texture in their um, in their stitching and I think for a while we were just doing a bunch of X's then we started adding different kinds of stitches that we imported from needlepoint and embroidery and the next logical step instead of doing a French knot was to add a bead mm -hmm. after you add a bead you add a charm mm -hmm. um, we use a lot right now of crystal paillettes um, they're a sew-on crystal made by Swarovski in Austria, and they're very sparkly. People just love them. Great, yeah. I love them. And they make your pieces, I mean, your pieces are beautiful, and then you add that sparkle, it just stands out wonderful. You have a series, an alphabet series, that's really popular. Yes, we do. We have a French alphabet series. It's uh, um, all worked in the same color tones. We use shades of ivory on a summer khaki linen. Each one of the samplers is what they call a spot motif sampler. So you'll have various sizes and um, shapes of the letter A along with something that depicts the letter A, like Angel. Now what I really like about your um, kits or your charts is that you always give those specialty beads in your in your charts or those right. charms or even the fibers, some of the specialty fibers. Yes, we, we want to make sure that the stitcher has everything that she needs in the kit to complete the project. We even put in a tapestry and a beading needle in case they don't have those items. Great, great. So now we're going to go through and show you some of Sandy's pieces. Sounds good. This is another example of stitching smalls. Um, you can see that we have scissor fobs that can be worked in a diamond shape a square or even in an octagonal shape. And what we've done is we've made our scissor fobs match our biscornus. This is the Holiday Holly biscornu and you'll notice its quirky little eight-sided shape. On the design we've included some red flower beads and they're anchored by little white pearls. The second biscornu that we have is called blackberries on gingham and what it is is it's a stacked beading technique where you put on a first layer of beads a second and a third in multiple colors so that it gives you a very realistic looking blackberry we also have um, a different beading technique around the edge of the scissor fob and since Glorianne I know love, loves cats so much, we've done a two-sided cat fob. We have a little cat here with a face, and on the back we have two sitting Siamese. To match that, we've also done our little biscornu. We have calico, a gray stripe, orange stripe, and a Siamese on one side. And on the other side we see the faces, and there's a lot of detail in these. These little faces are looking down at the fish blowing bubbles. I think the cats are probably thinking fish sushi there. Um, on each one of these we also have a darling little cat face bead. So we try to always select designs that will have a coordinating theme. So the cat would be the coordinating theme on that one. 
another one of our designs. It comes from our Teeny Tweeny series. The Teeny Tweenies are little cards that come with matching embellishments. This Teeny Tweeny is called Be Happy. And as you can see, we have two little bumblebees hovering around the daisies. Uh, and the bumblebees are worked with fuzzy stuff. So they have a three-dimensional and kind of a glisteny look, giving kind of realistic looking. And it also has a matching uh, custom dyed heart button to match the yellow of the bee. This is another one of our patterns from our Teeny Kit series. Um, our Teeny Kits are all come, they all come in a plastic box with all the floss that you would need, any special buttons or beads, and sometimes even a sterling silver charm. This particular Teeny Kit is called Friendship, and it's a perfect gift to give to one of your friends who's a stitcher. As you can see, we have little padded satin stitch spools of thread going around, some custom dyed micro mini buttons, and even a sterling silver charm. All these things are included in the kit for the stitcher, um, so you'll have the floss, the fabric, the beads, any kind of embellishment that would you know, make it a complete project, the needles, and they come in the cutest little 4x6 hinged plastic boxes. This is another one of our teeny kits from our French Alphabet series. If you remember, I told you about the, the spot motif type look. And this will show you all the different um, typefaces for the letter M. There will be some uh, little hearts and pearls that are custom colored to match the floss. Well, thank you, Sandy. I hope you uh, have a great show here in St. Charles, and you can find some of Sandy's items on needleworkshop.com. And thank you for joining us on Stitch Chat. I'm very glad to have you here, Gloria, and looking forward to a great time here in St. Charles. Thanks for joining us. Bye now.